Have you ever wondered how crucial network system and security can be in your professional life? Well, let's dive into that. In the digital age we live in today, network systems serve as the backbone of our interconnected world. They are the highways of the digital sphere, allowing data to travel from one point to another. From massive corporations to the device in your pocket, network systems are a fundamental part of our day-to-day -day life. But here's the catch. With the ever-increasing amount of data we produce and consume, the need to secure these digital highways becomes paramount. This is where network security comes into play. Network security is the practice of preventing unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction of information in a network system. It's like the digital equivalent of a lock on a door, keeping your data safe and secure. Now, why is this so important? Imagine running a business where your operations, customer data, and trade secrets are all stored and transmitted digitally. Without proper network security, you're essentially leaving your front door wide open for anyone to wander in and take what they please. Not only can this lead to catastrophic financial losses, it can also damage your reputation beyond repair. Moreover, in the absence of robust network security, your operations could come to a grinding halt due to malicious attacks or system failures. This is akin to a city's power grid going down. The consequences can be disastrous. But it's not just about protection from external threats. Network security also helps maintain the integrity and performance of your network, ensuring that your operations run smoothly. It's like the oil in an engine, keeping the gears of your business turning without a hitch. So whether you're a small startup or a multinational corporation, network security is a necessity. It's not just about keeping the bad guys out, it's about ensuring the smooth operation of your business, the protection of your data, and the trust of your customers. So, network system and security is not just an IT concern, it's an organizational concern. Now, you may ask, isn't cybersecurity the same as general IT security? It's a common question, and on the surface, they might seem interchangeable. But let's delve deeper into the nuances that separate these two concepts. Imagine IT security as an umbrella. It's broad, encompassing a wide range of strategies to safeguard your information assets. This includes protecting your systems from physical threats. For instance, it covers measures like locking server rooms or installing CCTV cameras to prevent unauthorized access. It's about ensuring your data isn't compromised, whether that's through a misplaced hard drive or a stolen laptop. Now nestled within this umbrella is cyber security. It's a specific segment of IT security, focusing purely on fortifying against online threats. In the digital age, we're more connected than ever. This connectivity brings untold benefits, but it also opens the door to a myriad of potential threats. Cyber security is about securing our data where it's most vulnerable, in the vast interconnected world of the internet. It's about safeguarding your systems from malicious codes warding off hackers, and protecting against data breaches. It's about ensuring your emails aren't intercepted, your networks aren't infiltrated, and your online transactions are secure. So, while IT security is a broad term, cybersecurity is a specialized field within it. It's like comparing a general practitioner to a neurosurgeon. Both are doctors, but the neurosurgeon has a specific focus. Similarly, both IT security and cybersecurity aim to protect your data, but cybersecurity focuses on the threats lurking in the digital world. To put it simply, all apples are fruits, but not all fruits are apples. In the same vein, all cybersecurity is part of IT security, but not all IT security is cybersecurity. So the next time someone asks you about the difference between these two, you'll know exactly what to say. They're two sides of the same coin, each playing a crucial role in the broader goal of data protection. Remember, all cybersecurity is part of IT security, but not all IT security is cybersecurity. In the cyber world, CIA doesn't refer to a spy agency. Rather, it's an acronym that represents the fundamental principles of data security, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Let's break them down. Confidentiality is about keeping sensitive information private. It ensures that only authorized individuals have access to specific data. 
This is often achieved through encryption and strict access controls. Integrity, on the other hand, is concerned with maintaining the accuracy and consistency of data. It prevents unauthorized changes, whether intentional or accidental, from occurring. This can be achieved through checksums and other error detection methods. Lastly, availability ensures that data and services are accessible to authorized users when they need them. This can be achieved through redundant systems, backups, and robust disaster recovery plans. Together, these three principles form the backbone of any robust data security strategy. They establish trust in systems and protect valuable information from unauthorized access, alteration and disruption. As you see, in the cyber world, CIA forms the cornerstone of data protection. You may be wondering, how does network security differ from cyber security? Well, let's dive right in. Network security and cyber security, while closely related, each have their unique roles in the realm of information security. Network security is all about safeguarding the integrity, usability, reliability and safety of your network and data. It's about implementing measures to prevent and monitor unauthorized access, misuse, modification or denial of the network's resources. Network security typically involves the management of internal threats. For instance, protecting sensitive files from being accessed by unauthorized personnel within the organization or preventing the spread of malicious software that might have found its way into the network. On the other hand, cybersecurity is a broader concept. While network security focuses on protecting the internal workings of an organization, cybersecurity extends its reach to protect against external threats. It's a blanket term that encompasses everything from protecting sensitive data from hackers to preventing cyber espionage and terrorism. Cybersecurity is about more than just securing networks. It includes the protection of all digital data and systems that interact with the cyber world, including mobile devices, cloud storage, and even the Internet of Things. Think of network security as a single soldier stationed within the fortress of your organization, keeping a vigilant watch over the network's integrity. Meanwhile, cybersecurity is the entire army, standing guard against external threats, ready to engage in battle at a moment's notice. Now, it's important to note that neither network security nor cybersecurity can stand alone. They are two sides of the same coin, each playing a critical role in your overall information security strategy. A strong network security system is vital for maintaining the daily operations of your organization, while a robust cybersecurity approach ensures your digital presence is secure from external threats. In essence, network security is a subset of cybersecurity. They work hand in hand, each contributing to the greater goal of ensuring your organization's information remains safe, secure, and accessible to those who need it. Data breaches can be devastating. How can you protect your organization? As we delve into this subject, we will explore various strategies that can be implemented to defend your organization from the plague of data breaches. First and foremost, every organization must identify all of its information technology or IT assets. These assets could range from hardware, like servers and workstations, to software, data, networks, and even human resources. Having a comprehensive inventory of these assets provides a robust foundation for your security strategy, as it allows you to understand what you need to protect. Next, consider adding an Intrusion Detection System, or IDS. This system is like an alarm that rings when a burglar tries to break into your house. It's designed to detect suspicious activity and potential threats in real time, thus providing an extra layer of security. IDS can help you identify threats before they turn into full-blown data breaches, allowing you to take immediate action. Additionally, conducting frequent penetration testing is a must. This involves simulating cyber attacks on your own system to identify vulnerabilities. Think of it as a fire drill for your cybersecurity protocol, it's a proactive approach that allows you to discover and fix potential security issues before they're exploited by malicious hackers. Finally, every organization should have an incident response team or plan, often referred to as IRT or IRP. This team or plan is your organization's first line of defense when a data breach occurs. 
It dictates how your organization responds to a breach from identifying and containing the breach to eradicating the threat and recovering from the incident. Having an IRT or IRP in place ensures that you're not caught off guard when a breach happens. Taking these steps can greatly reduce the risk of a data breach, keeping your organization's information secure. With the right measures in place, you can ensure that your organization stays one step ahead of cyber criminals, protecting your valuable data and maintaining the trust of your stakeholders. So, what have we learned about network system and security? Quite a lot, in fact. We've delved into the importance of network security, understanding that it's not just a nice to have, but a crucial element to protect an organization's valuable data and maintain its operations. We've also distinguished between cyber security and general IT security, noting that while they both aim to protect, their scopes are different. With cyber security focusing on protecting data that traverses cyberspace, we've explored the CIA in cyber world, a model that stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability, and is used to guide policies for information security within an organization. We've also differentiated between network security and cybersecurity, emphasizing how they each have unique roles within an organization's overall security strategy. Lastly, we've highlighted key steps to avoid data breaches, which include identifying IT assets, adding an intrusion detection system, conducting frequent penetration testing, and creating an incident response team or plan. As we've seen, Understanding and implementing network system and security is essential for any organization in this digital age.